revolution. Look, Marquez, on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast. Um, Pistol Pete. This evening I have with me Mig Chainsaw Chester, Mig Jana Death by Gucci, and Jennifer the Mafia Wars Loot Lady. What's happening, peoples? <laughs> not much. Nothing much. Same old, same old. It's, not a, it's never the same old. It never ends. It never ends. <laughs> it's but... a cycle. This week's been uh, nuts for sure. Yeah. But a bit out of I control. Think... I think with Facebook changing everything, it's annoying people. Yeah, that change is not uh, coming easy to me. I don't like it. And there's going to be even more changes, especially to fan pages. I don't like it. I I don't like it. But we're too small to do anything about it. I haven't seen what they're proposing, but... Well, yeah, like, if we do something. Yeah, like if we complain, Facebook's really going to be like, oh, okay. Let's make Mafia oh, Wars. crap, the informant happen. podcast is mad. We've got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they care about us, too. I don't think they care about the games that much, either. No, I don't, either. Mm. Uh, they do oh, get a percentage Facebook? of the games, yeah, though, don't you... they? I know, so you would think they'd want to make the games happy. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. I don't, either. I'm well, and, they, you know, and then the whole big push thing that they've done now is by October 1st, they have to have everybody switched over to secure websites for Facebook. And it's like, you know, I get what they're after to a certain degree, but it's it's almost like, you know, does the whole entire Facebook site really need to be secure? I mean, I get that the login page needs to be so that this way, you know, you have you can log in safely. But I don't know that the rest of Facebook, that's almost all public stuff anyway, needs to be secure. I don't get it. I think they're just thinking it'll be easier. And that's what's causing a lot of grief and why Zynga had so many problems over the last few weeks with uh, just horrible response time and stuff like that. I, you know, it's all related to the changes that Facebook is asking of them. And we're even running into it a little bit too because our checklist server, the server version, runs as a Facebook app. And so uh-huh. we've got to convert it to an HTTPS secure certificate model as well. So... Thank you probably did that faster than Zynga. Uh, we haven't done it yet. But, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, you have to wait until Zynga. And, you know, and, 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 and we're a lot smaller. They're dealing with a lot more complications right. because they're dealing with servers throughout the entire world, you know, spread out. And they have, you know, so I, I get I get the frustrations they're going through. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always one of the most critical, but I have to take a moment and appreciate the the struggle that they would go through when Facebook forces a change on them. So Now, where are the Spotcom servers located? Um, there's some in the States. Actually, I think they're all in the States now. So, uh-huh. but, so there's but, none in Sweden or Germany? No, but the latest, the latest that we've got for the toolbar is actually on a service that has, uh, I'll say it, the, the, it's a cloud service. And um, what that basically means is it's distributed across multiple locations and multiple sites so technically if one of the servers went down that the toolbar sitting on another one should be able to immediately pick up the load Uh um so it's kind of replicated throughout a whole bunch of different places so that's one of the beauties of why we went to that especially because anticipating what kind of volume we've had we would have from the toolbar so and you know and we've always tried to do whatever we could in the limited budget we have to you know, provide the most service without having to excessively beg for money or force, you know, things, people to do things in order to get access to the tools. Maybe they're yeah, preparing you could... for 2012. What's that? Maybe they're preparing for 2012. Oh. The, What's in 2012? The end of the it's world. Doomsday. Oh, that my Is that December? Thing? I don't know when. I don't yeah. know. Wasn't it like <laughs> yeah, last December month? December 12th or something <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> preemptive before the zombie yeah. apocalypse or something yeah so that's it so i mean toolbars out and live now getting lots of feedback and you know good feedback too people good love stuff it. Uh, yeah they're it's 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 being run through its paces that's for sure something some things we've noticed um 
well, it's not even specifically a a um, tool bar thing. We, we've had, if you've ever seen the video I did, one of the things I point out is that when you launch Mafia Wars, it will automatically close the ZMC and then close out the top banner uh, with the you know Zynga game bar in it, uh, the Z bar as they call it. And um, I've been getting a lot of people telling me that the toolbar is closing out their promotions. So when they level, they're not getting their level notification. And I can assure you that there's nothing in the toolbar that would close out promotion notifications. Mine doesn't do that. No, mine doesn't either. And I think what's happening, quite honestly, is they've got one of our other scripts running mm -hmm. that, um, for example, like Repeat Job has an option in it to show pop-ups or not show them. And if you check one way or the other, they either are going to show or not show. And I think people are not realizing that they have that on. So I'm kind of just informing that there's a possibility that this is not a problem with the toolbar. Or what about other scripts that aren't even spot? Well, of course, that's always another possibility. Any add-in or other thing that you've got running in your browser could potentially cause other issues. If What's your causing... account gets good stuff. Yeah, that's true. I only get animal feed. Sorry, <laughs> I interrupted you. <laughs> That's okay. What was your question, Jenna? Um, I was going to ask, why can I not switch right now? Is that to do with the Facebook changes? It could be. I wasn't aware that every that was time, broken. But... Every time I hit switch, it says profile cannot be found, like as if they didn't have an account. But I know they do. I'll take a look at it. Um, I, I don't know that I, I haven't done a switch here today. I did one yesterday. As a matter of fact, I didn't have a problem, but it's with the changes they are making, it's quite possible that the location we're looking for to find the Facebook ID might have moved. And so that may be the reason why it's not working, but we'll, we'll take a look at it and make sure we get it fixed. Yeah. Fix that for me. I need to, we will fix it. Come I in. have a question for you, Pete. Yeah. What's going on with the requests it seems like some things when you ask for help it auto posts to your wall and um you don't get the pop-up to post the request you I know I've said. yeah I've seen I, a lot of comments about it and i i say it happened to me once i have no idea why well and it gets even more confusing because uh, mike talked about this and i kind of joked with him and i told him he said you need to open up your privacy settings sucker um that What's happening, I think, is that, again, Facebook is making changes to the feed mechanism, and what it's doing is it's bypassing the need to actually pop up the window and let you put in a comment, which I kind of like, but there's no indicators there that it's actually done what you would have expected it to do. And then on top of that, some people are finding, and Mike did, that when he posts, they hit his, his Facebook wall, but then they show up in uh, private. So they're not even public that people can actually see it and respond to his actual post. This was very apparent today when the Biker Clubhouse came out. Right. And he was publishing his links, you know, using their Ask button, and it was not, it was hitting his wall. But then when he went and looked at the drop down, it would say that it was private, not public, or only with friends. I can't remember which exact drop setting it had but that's a private i mean somewhere in the privacy settings it's not set up to say you know make facebook uh, mafia wars posts you know public and that's something you know some people are gonna have to decide on whether or not they want to or don't want to so and i'm not sure what mafia wars or zynga is going to be able to do about that because now if they're going to let that kind of control happen at the user level then a lot of these posts may never even make it out on the public feeds so that would mean that like things like Stream Helper would be limited in the number of posts it can see. It would also mean there'd be a lot of people now getting frustrated over not being able to, you know, upgrade their clubhouse, you know, clubhouse in this case, because no one's responding to those posts. So. Mine's been upgrading. I just was, I didn't see it post on my wall, but then when I went back, it was there. Right. And yeah, it's, it's a little weird because you're so used to seeing that Facebook window pop up and then go and then you know you have to actually click OK or send to actually send it to your wall and some for some reason now that's kind of been bypassed and I haven't looked deep into it and I spends a lot of time looking at the feed stuff and it's possible he might have a better explanation but for now I, it's there's yeah just something changed today when they've released these these latest things yeah and that little trick where you open three windows or four windows yeah, it doesn't and work 
and pu- you know pull up your posts so you can post all four of them at the same time. That kind of killed that. Yeah, and and um, along the lines of the clubhouse, you know, what we did add the um, all all the building properties were added to the property manager, and for a while there, you were able to actually collect on all of them. And yeah, they've that now nice. and they now have turned around, and I just I just got hit with it where you you cannot collect all of them anymore. It only let you collect the five a day. So whichever five you choose, they will put a kibosh on you getting any more than that in a, in a, in a specific time period. It was a slow roll nerf because it happened to me last night. Right, and I didn't and see I, it till this and afternoon. And earlier in the day, I saw people post about it, and I was like, well, mine's working. Yeah. And then, and then like, you were able to build seven when I wasn't, so right. I think they gradually rolled that out. Yep. Probably Which isn't so. fair because some people got to some people got more, more than part. others. Yeah, <laughs> eh, such is life. <laughs> the only other thing that I will make note of with regard to game game, and it's not really a spocklet thing, but it's something we're considering now. When you get a revolver of death, Zynga's actually added a close button on it. Yes, because, that's wicked cool. Yes, because what's happened is that in most cases, when the revolver happens, it means that it just didn't get a properly formatted response. And that's what causes it to hang. And instead of them just saying, you know, throw the request out the window, they wanted to display this lovely, you know, um, revolver. So Zynga didn't put the close button there. Huh? That close button, that was Ike. He added that to the toolbar. Did he add it to the toolbar? Yeah. <laughs> that sucker. Really? Yeah, we that played it. Because I, I was in Firefox. <laughs> Uh, he didn't even tell Wait, me that. You awesome. don't read my blog. We purposely well, of course I don't. We purposely on. didn't put the word out there to see how long it would take for people to notice. <laughs> and it's Pete. And it was killing me because I'm like, oh, Ike, I want to post about this. It's so cool, but I'll wait. I saw and him then, like, talk about a close button, but I did not. It didn't it, correlate in my mind. It's a function of the toolbar. Oh, that's I, hilarious. I'm oh, oh I'm, I'm dying here. <laughs> you fell for it, too. That's I did. Awesome. You know, and I, and I read that in one of our rooms, and he was talking about a close button. And I thought he was talking about that Zynga put it there. So I yep. misunderstood, but that's funny. <laughs> so yeah, you caught me, I caught. Huh? <laughs> but oh, uh, so then there's a new feature of the toolbar that now it'll put a close button there, so you can actually close out the the uh, revolver if it's if it's in your way. And it's uh, really uh, nice. It works so well too. Yeah, ideally, I'd love for it to just disappear the revolver entirely, but yeah. um, you know, it probably makes some sense. I know there there are cases where it will spin for a little bit and then it'll kind of catch itself. And then close the revolver down on its own. So it just depends on whether or not it gets a good response from the server. So that's that's probably it for me. And then I'll let, let Jen fill us in on more game changes. More changes. Yes. As the world turns. <laughs> well, the big thing I mentioned was with the Facebook changing. Um, it's really it's hard to find your Mafia Wars posts. And one of my admin vows out, he... He found a link, and if you bookmark this link, it's it's on my blog. So if you type in how to see your Mafia Wars posts in the search bar, it should come up. And there's a nice little link. You can bookmark it, and then whenever you click on it, you'll get your news feeds with only Mafia Wars posts. I don't know much more about this link, but it's great. So whenever you need to find a specific type of post, if you don't use the stream scanner, you don't want to wait, you can just click on this link. So that's been very helpful. It yeah. is really cool. That's cool. Yeah, I and it's, I was having trouble every time I, you know, went to the news feed. You get like Joe Schmo's YouTube video, or you know, links the Spockon dot me links that are everywhere. War help post. You know, I leveled up. Yay me! All all those posts they were no longer in order, and they were kind of mixed in with other types of posts. Whatever Facebook decides are your top stories. Yeah. Yeah. And there was, you know, there was no way to really keep it that way. You could change some things and get it that way for a little while. But this is just a permanent link and click on it and you'll always get your Mafia Wars feed posts. And I believe I discovered the answer to how many Chicago missions there are. I believe there are nine. And I'm on the ninth one, but I can't finish it because I have that stupid um, mission hold up, which the mission crew link I found was updated and that's working fine now. So when people click on your link, you'll get credit. But this last mission, when you 
click to go ask now, it takes you to the Chicago job page. It doesn't take you to that Facebook page 